There's no such thing as a grown-up. Everything's okay, I'm just trying to act my age. Yeah, I want to know. I have a lot of post-it notes. Because... You want to know what happened to that little girl from from M Night Shyamalan's The Signs movies? <laughs> well, that little sh- little girl, she grew up. She got a little bit older, and uh, now we share a house together. And her name is Tara, cause there's, there's no such thing as grown ups. There's no such thing as grown ups. Dot com, and there is a such thing as glasses of water all around the house. All the time, always, <laughs> just in case there's aliens. You never know. You never know. It's usually the answer. I still think the answer to that should have been Pepsi. And then they should have got Pepsi to sponsor in the movie. That little girl did make me think about the little Pepsi girl most of the movie. Or Coke or whatever, because that shit can, like, eat through bone overnight. Um... Pepsi and Javex are pretty much my go-tos for, yeah, destroying a race of something or other where that may or may not have some sort of... I don't think they could take it. I don't skin. think the aliens could drink pop. They would be like, what are you doing to yourselves? Mm-hmm. You just pour poison in yourself? Yep. It's like if you went to an alien planet and they were like, here, drink this poison, and you're like, no, that's... Mm-hmm. I'm gonna... You're gonna hurt me. Yeah. No. And they're like, oh, Silly human, drink the poison. What? <laughs> you are such a silly whipper. Well, it's kind of like moonshine or whatever. Like, what? drink it. Yeah, like just drink it. Like, no, that's kind of the worst. Like, nah, it's okay to like almost burn Why yourself from you the drink? inside. Would you drink it? Moonshine? No way. No way. No way. You can do anything once. Um, no, I don't know. Like, tequila was plenty strong enough. If it, if it's a more burning disgustingness than that, then no thanks. I don't need, I don't need motor oil in my mouth <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. This show is all about sex, violence, and fantasy. My name is Curtis. And I'm Tara. And this is the show. Uh, speaking of sex, drama, fantasy, uh, drama shows in general, um, God, I, I, um, when I'm aware that I'm doing my introduction, radio voice guy, uh, it makes me crazy because I eventually will just like, you know, it just phases out and I become a normal human being talking into a microphone. <laughs> but when I'm like looking at notes and it's like, things need to be a little more proper. So you get a little more proper on the radio. Bloodline or bloodlines? Anyway. Or blood lanes. Leninas. Uh is it's it's terrible. Bloodlines. Like it's terrible. Like it's clearly one of these shows, like it's going or to be is or it is the most awesome show. No, it's it's the exact same thing ever seen. that happens with everything that is like, hey, here's a bunch Keeps of characters. Coming back for more. You get, you, they give you enough information that uh, you have no choice but to get any information. You have to keep coming back. And it's not until, you know, you're six deep. And then it's like, oh, now I see something that's happening. But now they're part you're of my six family. six deep. You're too far in. You're too this far in. And and this is season. one of those shows that's... You've got to finish. Is it Netflix? Is it HBO? I think it's Netflix. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, Netflix. This Netflix show. And it, like, I mean, from day one, it's like... Hey, we're bad people, but we and we did something bad. We're going to do something worse before You're we get ne- better. <laughs> but you don't know why. And we're not going to really tell you which one is the bad thing we did because there's a lot of them. And every episode, we're going to add another one until every single character in this whole entire universe is the devil. And and here we go. And then it's like, ah, it's a soap opera. We're back in soap opera land where, yes, I'm sitting there with my aunt. And she's, you know, 600 episodes deep. And I'm like, what is going on here? Like... Didn't you say that guy died yesterday? Yes, but now he's back. I think it's a twin brother. You do? <laughs> well, then. That sounds fu- quite interesting. Like, 
Well, I, the fact that you came up I with that is genius. I try to confuse with the past as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also, yes. But everybody's the same we're age. Gonna, we're going to have flashbacks all over the place. And other than when we're little kids, we're going to basically still be wearing our exact same clothes from the present and or future. And everybody's evil. So hold on. Just hold on to your fucking suspenders and and your happiness because it's <laughs> going to be torn away. And, and I don't know, like. So we are going to pitch our show. Should we pitch that now? Um, no, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. After I finish this rant, because this will help that. Uh, so, the, well, this is a question I need to answer. That maybe this will lead into the thing. Um, so, people who like watch it and like love it, like like you just like watch, everybody. Well, you, you watch mean, TV. Like I don't think you don't love TV because uh, you I just don't watch even like TV. Exactly. I don't even watch it. You just put it on and it's just there, and I don't know what you're doing. I just listen TV. to it. And I, I love I'll listen TV, to so it. I like, get into it like a, a warm bath. No, I get into it like a warm <laughs> bath, and then, then I need to escape from I it. I just have it on my peripheral. So yeah, so people who actually do like soak in this, like this is their warm bath. Like oh, I love, like I actually, I genuinely love like sitting down to to a Dexter or to just. This, I need to have something on as like white noise or something. It's mm -hmm. very weird. Otherwise, I just can't like pay attention to one only one thing like so I, I have to have like these blockers like i finally for the first time in my life spent well it was uh, a gift card plus they were on sale so it's like these 49 dollar uh headphones that were like way way cheaper like half price but it's just like they really are like noise canceling there's there's been a few times where you're literally standing behind me and it's just like i'm not even listening to any music right mm -hmm. now like how did you get in here this is crazy um uh, so yeah, so the, I I, could do stuff I need to yeah I don't know black noise out your white noise and then and then concentrate. But it's just like like normally I would just listen to something, but sometimes it is like ah I'm trying to like like do the thing that I'm trying to listen to, so it's really getting in the way. So it's like I need to really listen to silence somehow. And uh, and yeah, since there's like sixty feet of snow ninety percent of the the year. There's just you can't just go into like I used to go down to the quarry or wherever there was like this old like dirt path thing down where we used to live and sit there. And there was like literally an old step connected to nothing. No house. No, nothing was ever there. And like sitting like right or whatever. And there would always be like animals like coming and going and, you know, whatever, oh um, you know, just like squirrels and, and you know, nothing crazy. Butterflies and bugs and uh, occasionally people on their four wheelers and one guy on his uh, ride on tractor and a tractor lawnmower. He'd buzz through uh, with, like, a helmet on. They all had a great time. Um, but, yeah, so it's, like, a good pair of headphones, and I get to stay in my room and get some stuff done. Uh, but, yeah, so, but anyway, the people who, like, really do love it, like, like I get a good cry. Like, that's fine. Like, I understand, like, hey, I watched, you know, the, the Muppet Christmas Carol or, you know, something that's, like, oh, it's sad to oh, feel Oh, they good. just fucking go for the easy cry, like, kid death. Yeah, so it's, like, Spoiler all Spoiler alert or whatever, but... like. I mean, they say that in the first episode anyways. Well, I mean, every episode, it's like somebody's dying. Somebody is going through turmoil. Somebody's murdered. <laughs> somebody's trying to murder somebody or being murdered. Just bad thing after bad thing after bad thing until it is like you're waiting to see what happens, but you still want the show to kind of go on. So you end up, again, rooting for the – and these like – in this case, it's not – it's not even like Trailer Park Boys or, or like a Grand Theft Auto where it's like, oh, you're the anti-hero or like even, you know – batman in the current movies or whatever where it's like you're not doing a good thing but you're not doing a but you're the main character i don't know what i don't know what i'm supposed to do here what do we do there's so many like and again it's just that the the volume of and you know entertainment roots there is that there's so many anti-heroes now that it is like oh, i don't know what to believe in anymore and i mean even like the the, in the slap like the slap is just like Jesus Christ, like, what is, ha like, huh, I can't even, like, I, you know, that's my, I'll, I'm going to sleep now, like, I just, I can't even, I can't li watch, I can't live in a world where this is a an form of entertainment, and, and everything about that is, like, is, what's happening here, like, I thought maybe it's going to be kind of a misunderstanding, and, to see a kid get slapped. and it's, oh man, that kid gets slapped, and then, he just, deserves it. so much abusey stuff, and no, not enough Gary, Gary Busey stuff. And I think that some people don't have depression. I think that some people just have Netflix 
or satellite TV. <laughs> That's what I think. Some people have not going outside syndrome. Go yeah. out the fuck outside. This is that too. Oh, man. But yeah, I don't know. Go in nature. Like, like again, like we just was like, oh, there's nothing else on. We'll watch this. But there's definitely people that are like, you know, the same way with the, uh, uh, the singing shows and the other reality mm. shows. Like, I got to go home and get to my show. Like, I got to get home and see what's happening on the slap. Like, do you? Like, my shoulders are up in my ears for that entire show. Like, my fingers are, cl- my fists are clenched. Like, every muscle is clenched. Just like, and I'm just leaning closer and closer. And it's like, nope, doing it again. Like, gotta relax. Like a typewriter. Like, ding, just leaning closer. Just like, how does it just keep constantly escalating? And I mean, and again, it's not just this guy slapped it. It's like, oh, and also, I'm trying to date the babysitter, and I'm also a shitbag who beats my wife over here. Oh, and also. I stole some stuff and whatever, like so many things that everyone's trying to cover up. And, uh, uh, you know, I mean, the trailer park boys, like we've been watching that, like the, the, the latest season of that on Netflix is absolutely amazing. But when, when you stop, when you pause for like 10 minutes and just think if this was real, which it kind of is again, like when my brother calls, it is real. The stories he has about the people around him aren't so different from trailer park boys adventures. And it's like, that's real shit. Like that's like not shocking. And I don't think any of it is made up. I'm sure most of it. Yeah. It's just like ripped from the headlines. Any of it is made up law and order style, but I don't know. Like at least there's something the way it's approached is we can laugh at it. But when you really again break it down, it's like no, there are people that are this stupid that are really doing these things to try and make it through life. I mean, you know, I'm like, oh, I won't buy comic books or whatever, or you know, buy dumb things, and that's how I'll make life a little better. And they're like, oh, well, we'll steal a bunch of shit and then trick this other guy into selling this other thing off. By getting him so drunk, he almost dies, and then we'll run from the cops, and then like, no, no, this is too many things just to like have but a roof over your head. The the best part about all that whole entire show, mm-hmm. all series of it, is that all of them are like living in the moment. Yeah, like all of them are oh, living like, in the moment. There is no. Like they don't really like they're they are constantly like we're doing this for the future, but mm-hmm. they're not ever really thinking about no. the future. Well, the future is always like well we did. I think they're, they're just doing that because someone's like you need to plan for your future, yeah. and like they're just kind of repeating well, when that. When they but do pull it off, it's like we did. Everything it. is just like in six thousand like, dollars or five hundred yeah. dollars. <laughs> just like that's not enough for the future. Like now, can I have a trailer? Like no, you can't. And I mean, and what's even crazier is like when they were on getting dug with high, um, like the the actual guys. They were talking about, you know, uh, rent or the price of homes or, or something like that that was, you know, in the news or a big deal. Uh, and they were down in L.A. And the three of them were like, well, what? Like, that's the price of, like, a whole street of houses, like, in Canada, like, where, where we're from. Like, that's nuts. And it is like, oh, where they live, like, I guarantee, you know, they probably still have something big, which is, like, a $400,000 house or something like that. But, like, a $400,000 house that they have is, like, a I don't know, uh, a $5 million house in LA or even more probably. Cause it's like, you're getting, a, I mean, the, the size of a thing you can get, you know, in the outskirts of sure. Halifax where they live or whatever. Um, but yeah. So within the show, it's still just like, it's not even that far off from what they really have lived and do live. And I mean, you know, even though they're our age, it's, you know, just from stories and just still people from around there. Like we drove through almost lived in ourselves, the trailer park where they first started doing that. And it's just like, oh, yeah, this is a shithole. No, I'm not being in the shithole from TV as novel as that would be. No, we're going to we're going to try harder. We're going to move down the street from this shithole. We're going to move. Yeah, literally, um, you know, a couple stones throws away, but not too far, like three, three good uh, pitcher pitcher throws. And you're there. But, you know. Whatever. We were close we're to the scene. We're not in it. <laughs> we're not in it. We were in a house that was attached to somebody else's house. And that's fine. That is fine. You live how you got to live. It wasn't, you know, shambles. It was definitely not trailer park boys accommodations. And who cares, though? Like, it's just a roof over your head. Like, it's so very elitist. Oh, yeah. Like, my dad had stories that were definitely, like, not too far off or worse than a lot of those types of, like, 
never any of like people pulling guns on each other which i mean we've met people in real life and you know you see all the time where it's like oh like yeah 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 i got shot at like what what do you mean you got yeah yeah where i'm from we just get shot at all the time like just on the way to school or on the way wherever you're going like people are shooting each other a lot like that's insane yeah yeah it's nice to be here where it's like hey there's a tree instead of hey that guy probably has a gun like it's mostly trees it's nuts anyway you guys you guys have no idea uh, how good you have it like that thank you thank like i'm sorry I, I feel like i owe so many people cake when i when i meet them just like let me I, I, you know again if i was crazy rich that one of the dumb things that i would do is literally just like oh that story is amazing you wait right here i'm gonna go get a fucking cake and you're gonna enjoy it or i don't know something it's just like people just need and it's not like presents or whatever it's like you've been through something or a medal like like there's too many things that people have been through like in the army when it's like oh you got a purple heart like that means like i got seriously injured and trying to really help somebody and blah 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 like there are too many purple hearts in real life out there that are just like holy fuck like your family thinks you what wow you came all this way that's amazing and you know some people i mean because again like i've met people that it's like oh you came all the way from africa you send your money your family money you got this education there's tigers where you're from blah 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 blah. that's amazing and then oh and now you're a dirtbag whore with like two secret families and funneling money god knows where and, and whatever like so there are horrible people where it's like oh i thought you deserved a medal but no but there are definitely other people why are you giving out medals anyways <laughs> i i mean somebody should i don't know like i don't have the authority but you know with mm. being a crazy billionaire then it is like hey i'm the unofficial mayor of town just need to stick with cakes then. i give out medals or cakes like people and they get and see so medals is too far cakes are fun even a cupcake just like here you go just so, like like oh well here's like a great example of that was i went to the dairy queen on the way home from groceries last night and I get like the whatever six dollar value meal, and with that you get your little uh, free Sunday, or you you're paid for Sunday technically. Um, but I don't get it, and they give me a coupon instead because it's like, oh, I don't want to be up all night with my heartburn farts. And I turn around, and this lady who chose not to jump in the line like her friend, and when I say lady, I mean like two legitimately old ladies that were like you know curled up like Mr. Burns, one giggling at the thought of. I'm sneaking through the line, but my prudish friend isn't, so I'm going to get some ice cream and go back to the bowling alley. Awesome, old lady. You're nuts. So I get mine. The other one is still just in line waiting behind me. She's like, uh, almost forgets to give me the coupon. I'm like, whatever. I don't care. I'm not going to get the ice cream anyway. And she's like, oh, you're a coupon. And I turn around and go, hey, you just won yourself a free ice cream. Give her the thing, and away I go. I assume she lights up with joy. <laughs> uh, I'm lactose intolerant. Anyway, that's my reason to pa pass it on. Um, but but just stuff like that. It's like there's something. Just gave her diabetes. Uh, and, and that was the last. Yeah, I you're right. Over the edge. It's those things. It's that, yeah, the poorest kid in the world. In my country, when I get to have an ice cream, my diabetes flares up. But it's so good and delicious. But anyway, you eat it as just a fun treat. You get the pill, you eat that, and then that pill gives you the other thing. Yeah. Then you go get the Pepto Bismol, and everything's cool. You just four pills in. You had a good time with the ice cream. I have it once. I shit the bed. My bed is also my whole home. Yeah. It's quite disgusting. It's very gross. But warlord conditions. He makes the rules. I won't eat any more ice cream. Uh, is that the answer? Yeah, pretty much, unless you're forced to for the laughs, because they're like, you know what would be funny? Watching this kid poop so hard. Give it the ice cream. Oh, my God. Very intolerant. I mean, mentally tolerant, but physically intolerant. Okay. It's like a knee-jerk reaction. Get away from you. Okay, <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Long time oh. caller, first time listener. Okay, bye. <laughs> Did you ever meet a little cute dog that the... Anyway, we'll get into that later. <laughs> Speaking of depressing. Uh, We're going to do our Netflix. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. So we're pitching it to Netflix, or one of well, us we're is? Just, we're just acting it. But. This is our acting it. We're just acting oh, getting it. ready to pitch it? Now we just recorded a movie, and then, like, this is the. This is the movie? This is, the, this is it. Oh. Inference. Where a were you before Netflix when you were like original uh... presented by these new kids on the block? 
but hey, um, it's uh, going to help me explain it to the folks here. It's not quite, you know, it's, we don't do TV shows anymore. And I mean, we have no, the we're just shows. doing the show. We're just doing like, just doing the show. Yeah, we're I don't understand that. The show is an inference. So we're just doing the bloodlines oh, yes. or whatever, except mm. we could do it when you. Well, we can just do it. All right. A new Netflix inference. It's like a TV show, but it's not. Hey, hey, Susan. Um, so. Hey, what are you doing? So you're sitting, um, on your, sitting on your stoop. I was just sitting here thinking, whittling. I wasn't doing anything earlier. You didn't look suspicious, and I was wasn't. I don't think I was looking suspicious either. You did not look suspicious, and whatever you weren't doing, I promise that I won't tell anyone. Good. I mean, I've been having about that. I've been having some dreams. You know, have you been? Um, no, no I dreams. I mean, not like anything, uh, you know. Like, I mean, I, everything's just normal. Just normal dreams. Everything's I normal. Mean, you, know, you know how dreams are just weird yeah, anyway. I mean, I, I'm going to have a normal weird dreams, like, okay. same as you. But not what like, are they not, about? I mean, just nothing. Probably nothing repressed. Just like weird, like, like movies I've seen about, you know. I mean, you know how, like, when we were kids, there was, like, the swamp and then, like, Sometimes people will oh talk about God, weird stuff. Oh, my God, I don't remember anything about that. I don't that. really either, but, I mean, I have these dreams about it, and there's, like, the alligators, but I don't remember the alligators doing anything. But I do remember, like, bad things happening. Maybe and you I should think, just, like, forget about those things because, you know... I think I did. It's probably nothing. Yeah, it probably is. But lately, though... Yeah? I've been getting into some things. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so, I don't know, like, maybe That I sounds could, interesting. It is. Like, actually, you know what? I'll stop by your house, like, I don't know, let's say tomorrow. Okay. Um, hey, you could tell me all about that. Actually, you know what? Let's make it three weeks slash episodes from now. I'll stop by your house. All right. And uh, then we'll talk about I'm it. I'm kind of getting some renovations done, okay. so that'll all tie in with yeah, that. All right. But, so then if there's any noise or interruptions, it. maybe it'll take a little while to get... By the time you come over... Everything will be back to normal. Okay, no worries then. I, there probably won't be any misunderstandings at all. Oh, no misunderstandings. No. Everything should be understood. It's fine. I mean, it's, you know, we're not we're not jerks. We're not dickheads. We're not idiots. I mean. Oh, oh we did kind of do some things before. There's but things that we do, but I mean. Well, we are changed. We know what we're saying. We are different people now. I'm, I'm much older. You're, you're a real I'm estate older. agent. I'm older. I'm a real estate agent, you know. I mean, doing things, I own selling two, I houses. I own two fish boats. Sometimes, like guys go out, they bring back fish. You're doing fishing. Everything they do is fine. They're legal. That's all normal. Their here. papers are fine. There's they're, nothing they're wrong legal with for them. this country. I'm not even joking. So everything's great. Everything's great. Nothing happened to me when I was a child. No, that why like. It's not even, it's, you know. And nothing happened to you. There's nothing coincidental about even all though this I protected you from nothing. I mean, we we just got each other's back. We'll always have we each always other's back because that's just back. a normal thing. Because we're brothers thing. and sisters, there right? Have that's, to be a reason. There doesn't have to be any reason. No. We're brother and sister. Nothing weird ever happened to, between us. Let's get really drunk. Let's get drunk. Like let's get really drunk and then, hey, there's it's not, but we never done nothing this before. Ever happened, but anyway, I'm um, not an alcoholic. Like I don't really know that person over there, like that lady, but. Anyway, I'm going to go have sex with her tonight. I don't know her either. No, I mean, so I don't even know if she's going to go for it. I don't even like I'm not even saying that. I'm like, I'm just guessing. There's I'm just something joking, really. that I can't tell you. Or sh- what? We'll get to that later anyway. Okay. Who's that at the door? <laughs> to be continued on the next Netflix inference. We'll be inferring all kinds of things that may or may not lead to things that you can picture in your own mind. Netflix. Use your own imagination okay, more. Okay. It's like a book that you pay seven dollars a month for. At least better call Saul is on, but it's better call Saul. They're they were riding that inference fence pretty hard too. Don't even get like that first one. That first episode of Better Call Better Call Saul. Sad is the new funny, and inferring is the new drama. I mean, I'm not sure how long the episode is. If it's 40 minutes, if it's 50 minutes, you'll never know. Until the last 10 minutes, I'm just like, I don't know if I love this show because it's it's you it's done it. really well, or if I'm just getting sad and like they're 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 affecting me. And the way they want me to be affected, and I applaud them for that. They're doing it, and I can't, you know, like Kryptonite, I can't beat it. Like, you're winning. Just leading you up, 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 and then down. And it's so down down and so sad, but yet it's still, like, again, like, I've I've said this a thousand times, like, when, uh, I want to call it Mad Men, 
um, Breaking Bad was on, I had no, no interest at all. Like, it only sounded like a thousand sad premises jammed into a thousand horrible situations. And I don't want to watch it until Bob Odenkirk was on a podcast talking about, like, holy shit, like, they want me to do these crazy long monologues. This is nuts. They don't realize, or, well, they do realize I've only ever read my own stuff. I only direct myself. And then I'm like, I got to see this. Like, this is awesome. It sounds like the best character in the world, like everything he said. Uh, so that was my whole reason. So the fact that this show is that character is just more of his life is is perfect. Like, I love this show, but it is still a lot of sad as the new funny. Um, of course, it's not necessarily a comedy show anyway, uh. but uh, every show I watch, I try to make a comedy show because I get too easily depressed by the sad shows and the beating of children. There's nothing I could do. There's nothing I could do because, I mean... That just means there's something right with you. And because, I, like, I also understand how TV works, the nature of the organism. Sometimes people think that that's a weird that that there's something wrong with you because you're like you laugh at funerals, not you in particular, but if people you laugh, think it's weird that a smile at a funeral don't know what I mean. Well, you soon will. I don't know the melody or beat of this song. <laughs> Something's <laughs> right, even though it's wrong. I wear my heart on my sleeve. Craft dinner in the audience. Chicken to China, the Chinese chicken. You have a drumstick and the dream stuff sticking. Watching X Files with no lights on. Bored, Dalla Maison. I just learned that like four days ago. That song came up and I'm like, wait, Bordelas Maison. Like, because I think Brunch said it and it's just like, you said it in a way that made me think it's Bored, Dalla Maison. He's like, yeah, I have no idea what I thought it was before. Like, it was a. A place specific that they knew. I'll have to like listen to it and I'll tell you what I thought it was. Mm, you, yeah, I guess I that's, yeah, I never really think about that. Like when you, you know, the level at which certain people notice certain things, there's a lot of things that just like go over my head all all the time. But yeah, song lyrics, you're just like, what? It said what? <laughs> I don't <laughs> I know how it my own. said anything else possible. If and you're not going to communicate it properly, then I can fucking hear whatever the hell I want. And that Dinosaur babies, they're physics. raping their chickens, they're having their flies, and they're getting their flickings. <laughs> Watching me smile with the lights on, isn't it that one? Yeah, that sounds good. Bordeaux with Mason. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're <laughs> running from Jason. Uh, that's well, the we have to talk about ladies. the fact that we were on the quadcast. Oh my god, yeah. I gotta upload uh, some of our audio that sounds really nice and sweet for these microphones. Yeah. And some of also, what Courtney doesn't know, I recorded like everything, so I've got like a good oh half god. hour before the show started that oh they started god. playing. Uh, so I can, I'm gonna put that up as a teaser and we're gonna have some more quadcast fun. And so yeah. Go over there, the quadcast Go podcast. to quadcast, listen to that episode, and we won. We debate. We, we crush debates. Stood up for our country. For votre nation. We hold our beavers high. And we answer the questions correctly. In our native tongues. <laughs> <laughs> so Most of us are from Perestroika. They're going to come on our podcast. And then we'll do something else. Have a reverse Spider-Man crossover. Awesome. Spider-Man comes back Name across damn, to bro. the DC universe to fight Superman. We... Also had Dean Dwyer on our podcast last week. That was pretty fucking exciting. That was pretty crazy. That was a whole lot of, hey, I have a successful podcast and a book, and it sounds like you guys are even better than everything I've ever done. <laughs> I bow down. Here's a crown. I'll send it in the mail. Anyone who's listening should know that this clearly is the number one podcast. Hopefully, you'll still swing by and check out Dean Dwyer. But, you know... Once you get so enlightened, so entertained, so agitated, uh, <laughs> agitated, yeah, it's like entertainment or mm, <laughs> education with uh, some uh, sounds delicious agitation, agitative education. Yeah, we gotta send um, Crawford Henderson, I got crowd dog, we gotta send him some shit. You keep forgetting, I do keep forgetting <sighs> that, uh. I don't but know. But you can, we could send you some shit too now if I, I you go to our iTunes and tell us what you think of our podcast. He doesn't like that I don't know his name. 
he doesn't like that. Mm. You were saying, but some you things. said it's 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 Crawford Henderson. Yes, and that's yeah, like that. I do know it. That's Croft dog to all of his friends, but it's Z dog. Such... That's what. It's such a fun name. That's what Kevin J. Forbes calls him. And what I learned, I did feel bad, but what's even better is the running gag that, that is. His... You get to be a run. You are the heart of the running gag, for one. If I say your name correctly, I say it once and you are gone for my life. Poof. The greatest trick the devil ever played was yeah, making he's... us believe he was there. Oh, God. But if you can be Cromish Pendleton... Then you get to be Cromwellish Penmamaton forever. And then when people are like, they keep saying this thing, and you're like, and we're a phenomenon. Like, we're everywhere. They're just like, oh, Curtis Terrace of this, Curtis Terrace of that. And they keep talking about Cromwell Blah Blah Blah. And you're like, hey. Cromwell Blah Blah Blah. Whatever. <laughs> not even say the thing I, I now. Because that's not me. That's the people. They couldn't come up with a good one. Okay. Uh, like there's, but he knows. He's like, that's. Cromwell Dobbleton. That's a good one. So, uh, Cromwell Bobbleton. Is like he stands up like I'm Krabappel Boppleton, but the real name is Crawford Henderson. And then he, you know, everybody is like, we know, My we've real we've name listened, we've listened way back to episode Henford Crawfordson. And then everybody in the cafeteria or the uh, food court is where I'm picturing this actually in Truro. Uh, they take their up, trays. They start snapping their they trays sh- down. They're, yeah, they're beating their trays. Bang, 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 bang Crawford. Until everybody's like Spartacus, and then you're Crap, Bapple, Spartacus. Next thing you know, you're on the news. You have your own show. We're like, hey, can we get some fucking money, Crawford? We made you. How did you surpass us? And then that's that's why are you gonna fucking play us like that? You don't play why us. Such a don't dick? play us. We're just trying to have fun to entertain. I don't know why you're such a oh, God, Kevin J. Forbes. Listen, C Dog. We are just. We need to talk Human about this. Human jangly keys to shine and jingle and make noise. We just noise wanted to send you some artwork. For KJF. We just stalked you for your home address. You gave us a fucking P.O. box. Did I already draw him something? I'll draw you something tonight. <sighs> we'll get that done. So secretive. So secretive. Oh, yeah. Like we don't. Bloodlines. We don't have it. We have to send it to. Uh, we have to secretly send it to Kevin J. Yes, Forbes. I and forgot. then he's going to like fold it up into one of those like, um, you know, the foldy papers that you can like guess numbers yeah and then he will secretly give it to c dog the craft dog during a math class i don't i don't like you calling him a c dog okay craft dog yeah there's only one c dog yeah that's me that's cliff what (laughs) i'm sorry He calls me C Dog. You're he calls dirty, you dirty. You're dirty, uh, That's not fit for. But I call him C Dog, like S E A, like the like, like an he's old a dog C- of the sea. D A W G. Yeah, that's right. He's the Snoop of the sea. He's he just has long hair and a beard, like kind of, mm. and lives in the Maritimes. He's hearty, salty. He's a salty, hearty <laughs> seaman. Yeah, the heart of gold. Oh my god, just got weird, C Dog. No, not in that. We are also M-A-N. featured a, a cameo in Dining on You uh, by Emily Strong. D-I-N-I-N-I-N-G-O? D-A- dining? D- zombies? <laughs> it's Zombies Dining on You. Hey, we got a cameo. You're in there. Or is that my new project? We give people cameos in our comic, our comic. Or our we give people cameos, and yeah, and then it's like, hey, you were in our we comic could run called a contest. Dining on You, and you got eaten. We can run a contest for that. or a more adult comic Featured called in our next Eaten comic. Out, where same thing cameos, but it's like, oh, you got what doing a comic dirtier. called Eating Out? We don't show it; they just go by and you just see the top of their head. Oh, that'd be funny. And then movement lines. This is called Dining on You. D A W N. But you were right, because... I an apostrophe? Donning? Donning. Oh, so they're white people. Like, I guess. Donning. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, by Emily Strive. You can check it out on DeviantArt. We probably put them... Well, I think we got links up. I don't know. I have a lot of trouble with the word deviant and the deviant art. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. Definitely means I'm old, but it, mean, it feels like I really... 
when even when I was may, maybe there. young enough to go to Deviant Art, I felt I'm I don't think I'm a deviant. You'll have to go on to that a lot page of just 210 like, and see how what if we're, we're but we're there. Or not. We're at the carnival. Maybe we have our clothes on. Maybe we get eaten by zombies. Maybe we ride the carousel. Do this now because I always forget. It's supposed to be at the end, but then I always forget. What? Never have time. The our non grown up assignment. Oh God. Is this a like? Here's your assignment for the week. It's a non grown up thing you can do. It's easy as taking a leak. But don't poo in your shoe. It's a non-grown-up assignment for you. Cha-cha. What's what? What are you just gonna spring spring it on me and make me do it again, or do you actually have something written over there? I know I have something written. All over. right, I wrote the theme song. Now you do it. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what it is? Uh, do, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, this week's assignment is that you need to allow someone to let uh let someone else dress you. No. For the week. The week? Yeah, for a whole week. No. And you can do a little experiment and record it. You can record what you wear. Um, I've seen some people do this. Like, they let their kids pick out their clothes. Oh, God. Or um, you could just, like, let your partner pick out your clothes. And, document you know, it. Make it document a it and see if anybody notices. Artist for a day. Uh, or... Send us a yeah. You can document photo. it for artists for the day. That would be great. If, you don't if know. you're an artist of any kind of art, we want you. We like to, to us. take. If you've always wanted to have a blog post on a, a blog of somebody else's that is like legitimately saying, "Hey, give us your day, and we'll we'll show you to other people." And a bunch of other weird artists will be like, hey, that's kind of like my day, or that's so different from my day. And then someone's talking to you, hey, you got a new friend, Degrassi Jr. <laughs> Internet. Um, but yeah, like Tara, whatever, just contact us at the show. She'll tell you, I don't know, the password or whoever that works there. And you make a blog post. And you can do it with pictures. You can make yourself a little movie of the day, put it on YouTube do and links to that. Want. Uh, there's already been so many different ways people have done it. You so, are an art, the artist. Yeah, go through there, see what different kind of artists there are. Let us know what kind of artists there are. We're not going to say, hey, you're not an artist. I mean, between ourselves, when you're not here, sure, we're going to say, this person is not an artist. They just bullshitted us, and this is crazy. But to you, yes, All maybe. All the artists we've done are. You do spend the day. professional artists. Making beer can airplanes. <laughs> and that is art, and you hang them up, and that's great. And they are amazing, but. I was thinking about. Um, I think I talked about this before, but I uh, used to teach a course for was sculpting. Mm-hmm. But we didn't really like the students didn't have a lot of money for materials or things like that. So I come up with some different things, and you know, doing origami and paper sculpture and wire sculpture and sharp, one rusty of the old tin was sculpture. To do, uh, uh, they did a lot of stuff like that. They were supposed to do recycled material sculpture, so they did. Uh, some people use pot cans and things like that. One of the students fucking came in like, and it was supposed to be like minimum six hours that they spent on this project. And part of it could be collecting this stuff or whatever, but you know, it had to, yeah. you know, majority of like, anyway, should have been spent, mm-hmm. put into the thing. Like it should have looked like something. And I didn't want them to just go and collect before, garbage before and make some anything. garbage. Uh, the other day, I was looking for like a little bit of tin foil and like a bottle, and it took me about six hours. <laughs> like, I mean, that it was just those two things, but it took me about and six a straw. hours. And uh, and I had a straw already because uh, like we just got some from the dollar store, so I, l- I literally had like a hundred of those in the house. So I like threw one on the ground that was like, "Hey, I found this," and just pretended. But the rest, six hours to find a plastic bottle and a piece of tin foil. Anyway, uh, what was your what was the rest of your story? <laughs> So the student made a water bong out of just exactly those materials. <laughs> a water bottle, a straw, some tin foil. He lived across the street from a <laughs> convenience store, a pizza shop, and like nine other places where you could easily find or buy or get a bottle. Um, he did try to tell me that, though, that that's what took him, like, it was the gathering of the materials. Oh, yeah. 
because he didn't want to just go and get the things. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, well, yes, that's right, but you could get a pop bottle right out of the recycling here at school. Yeah, there's 90 on your way out the door. Probably the same for the straw and the, and the tinfoil. Yeah. So, needless to say, that was an issue. Human beings. That I had to fucking deal with like I give a shit. Yeah. Like I care. Oh, don't make bongs for school. Don't make me get yell like yell at you for doing things that it's are fun to get pe- things by ridiculous. people. But you usually actually don't. People I just want to laugh. They're just going, ugh, whatever. He didn't even know it was a bong. Everybody knew it was a bong. <laughs> All right. Also, just... well, the main reason that I was pissed because I, I felt like. Do you think that I don't know what this is? Like, do you, are, are you that naive that you think I don't know what this is and that you're going to pull some sort of shit off on it? Like, I guess that was my thing. Be fucking clever about it. Or at the very least, build a six-hour bong. Yeah. Dude, like, that was make something that cool was my problem. And, yeah. It wasn't the fact that it was that he built a bong or whatever. Like, that's fine. Please make a silly straw monstrosity make the craziest artiste. fucking bong you've ever built yeah and then and make it functional you get a fucking a okay yeah. that's that's fine it's about the effort yeah. not this you know like it was it moves. was more like it was more like uh a um but i think i talked about that before. like a grade four project of hey here's what the teenagers I've seen grade use fours make better bongs than that like, yeah for it was fuck's like sakes. it was, it was a, still kind of a fake bong <laughs> like from did it even work i don't know um it wasn't used it didn't look used. yeah i think it was uh like extra thrown together like i think in his arms while he walked to school uh the the 10 minute walk like i think that's where it was assembled just poked through whatever oh, like you're, nothing you're even like snow melted into it here's the water <laughs> anyway uh no such thing as growing up dot com there's a thing to leave comments. Uh, we have the Gmail and the Twitter and whatever else and Facebook. Um, send us your ideas, your thoughts, your queries and concerns. Uh, make us your omeletsman. Your... We will tell you everything that grown-ups won't. Um, we're going to be on another radio show. We're all over the internet. We're bringing more people in. We're going more places. Tell everybody to expect us. And share this with your friends. Chenandler Bong. What was that guy's <laughs> name again? Sharktooth Johnson. Anyway, Kevin J. Forbes, whose name I will never, ever forget and will always cherish. Oh. Adam Fitzgerald. You we'll tuck yourself in. cherish you like the second or third son that you are. From now us. on, I'm going to picture that uh, both Adam Fitzgerald, Kevin J. Forbes, separate places on the earth uh, they put on the show as they go to bed. Whether girlfriend, wife, whatever, parents they're in the next room. They're listening at the same time. Yeah, but click. They're both looking at the same moon. They both go to bed promptly at nine every night. Looking at their window. Looking somewhere out there beneath this crazy moon. And then they know they're both singing that song to each other. And I don't know, one of them decides which one of them is the girl mouse. And either way, they're having a great time. <laughs> then the Bible goes west. Uh, Dom oh, DeLuise, no. et cetera. Oh, no. Et cetera. <laughs> but also, I, I know that. I don't know when he listens. Like he's, I think he's probably a busy guy. He's high When strung. he listens? When um, Zutroy, Kalkalush. Bilbo? Yeah. Bilbo, Bilbo. Crabapple. Heimlich. <laughs> Crab Apple Heimlichson. <laughs> uh, I know that he listens. He is going to be so it. mad. I, you are pissing him off. I wish I could not do that, but when the other two are tucking themselves into bed, or somebody else is tucking them in and pressing play on that little iPod plugged into a big old speaker system, and our voices are are yelling them to sleep. Here. Uh, Creatine Heisenberg. Uh, I'm almost tempted to wake up and and have a little chuckle, but I'm going to keep drifting off to the voices of these angels. Oh, that's beautiful. Speaking of voices of angels, don't forget to swing by Grown Up Truth, the Grown Up Truth dot com. Grown Up Truth dot com. Next week is going to be the season the finale of our ten, ten week of, of the ten lessons. Of how to be a successful non-grown-up.
Thank you. So you can read those one to nine. There's some references to Aquaman going back again. You think you're looking like Aquaman? Uh, Filet of fish, shell of fish. Ah, it's so good. <laughs> it's like it's never tucked to frying pan. Think you're something, so you have to sign a waiver. Ah, that's where it gets around to. You think it's funny? I think it's funny when you're sad. I'm the kind of guy who laughs at a funeral. I think it's funny when you're sad. I'm the kind of guy who laughs at a funeral. Can't understand what I mean. Well, you soon will. I have a tendency to wear my heart on my sleeve. I, I have, have a, a history, history of, of taking, losing, uh, oh. taking off my shirt. It's, it's been. been, it's been <laughs> one week since you looked at me. Drop down to one knee. And share, then, share, share our podcast. Share, share, just for share that alone, our podcast. We just had a Bare Naked Ladies Festival. If you know any of the Bare Naked Ladies, put that in their ears and ha- watch, From this day forward, watch their disgust. <laughs> if you leave us a comment on iTunes, we will send you some craft dinner macaroni no the shipping on that's like gonna end up being crazy three macaronis per person okay definitely we'll, we'll get you some of those dried ass old macaronis don't eat them don't eat go them. go ahead and eat them imagine if they open that at the post office we get those little tiny like drug I baggies crap dinner and there's anthrax. three like just a three noodle size little drug baggie with three noodles in it they're gonna think that's it's oh they're they're whatever they're putting the meth into the shapes and Craft dinner noodles now and sending it through the mail or whatever it is. Crack. The cracked cocaine. Heroin. I don't know what. what. Would you snort something that got sent to you in the mail? I wouldn't snort anything ever, <laughs> ever, ever. Again, like swimming in pools gives me anxiety attacks because I'm getting chlorine in my nose no matter what I do. And how could you purposely get What about something- nanny pot? Neti pot, that took me, like, a week to be okay to do it. Like, a week we had that, and I'm still like, I don't think I could do this. We, were, we I mean, we did it on the show. You might come across it on a throwback Thursday. And it was like, I don't know. Like, I'm so scared. And just watching the video, I was like, they're just pouring water into the head. And, I mean, the first time it was like, I'm going to drown. I'm going to drown. <laughs> and also, whatever. But, oddly enough, if you don't put the solution in, because it was like, I really needed to... Like, whatever. I just had, like, crazy sinus pain. It's like, I got to do something. If you don't put, like, the salt in, it burns, like, crazy. Just cold water or, like, whatever. Lukewarm water is just like, ah, this is crazy. Like, why does this hurt so much? Maybe it was just because my sinuses were just so uh, whatever. Or the salt helps break stuff up. Either way, uh, I only tried that the once. And I was like, (laughs) well, that's it. I'm not doing that again. Like, my eyes were burning. It was, like, the, the one time when... Oh, God. What if your eyeball popped out? Well, once when I was a kid... Your I, eyeball popped out? I was, oh, my no, God! Uh, eating that's a hot gross. dog with cheese and mustard and, and some ketchup, but that's fine. But then, like, I sneezed, and then, like, a piece of cheese with mustard on it, like, <laughs> came up out of my oh, nose. No. And, I mean, if you ever had, like, like having a... So, what, did you try to put it back in or pull it out? Uh, no, it just, it just like, came right out. And, yeah, I just, like, pulled it out or just, like, snorted it <laughs> And then it you out. re-ate it. And I did not re-eat it because then I was like, ah, 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 like your eyes like water up. I mean, it's like literally, I guess, try snorting mustard or mustard seed, like having mustard smeared all over the inside of your nostril. And and like, I again, like how anybody could snort like whatever, like, I mean, any of the things like it's kind of like glassy looking like I've seen, you know, kids in school like snorting like pixie sticks or whatever. Just like, no, no, like. Your Snorting nose, pixie like, stick. I feel like my nose is already so sensitive as it is that, mm. that whatever, like, again, like, I'm kind of glad I wear glasses. Maybe I wish them. You're a very sensitive them. person. I'm also just a very sensitive person. Podcast over. Okay, no further questions. <laughs> yeah, I want to know.
musical intros and outros by Brad Sucks.